Hey everyone, today we're going to dive into something that makes your Linux desktop truly yours, themes. Specifically, we'll walk through how to add new themes to the Cinnamon desktop environment. If you've ever wanted to give your system a fresh personalized look, this tutorial is for you. We'll cover everything from what themes are, to downloading, applying them, and even changing your icons, cursors, and desktop background. So, let's get started. Themes refer to a collection of visual settings and assets that define the look and feel of your desktop environment. These themes control the appearance of everything from window borders to buttons, giving you a tailored experience that reflects your personal style. Now, before you start selecting themes, it's important to know a little about the toolkits that underlie your desktop environment, GTK and Qt. GTK themes ensure that your applications and interface elements are styled consistently. This toolkit is used by environments like GNOME, Cinnamon, and XFCE. On the other hand, KDE Plasma uses the Qt toolkit. For a cohesive look in such environments, you'll want Qt-compatible themes. Choosing a theme that matches your toolkit guarantees a unified and polished appearance across your entire desktop environment. For this example, we'll be adding a popular theme named Dracula. Let's get started. Launch Firefox and head over to www.pling.com. In the search bar, type Dracula. From the results, pick the one categorized under GTK34 themes. Scroll down, click on the Files tab, and choose your preferred style of the theme. After the countdown, click Download. Next, we'll extract and apply the theme. Open your home directory and navigate to your Downloads folder. Right-click in an empty space and choose Open in Terminal. Type the following command to extract the theme, tar space dash xf space, then the theme file name. You'll see a new directory with the theme's name. Now let's move this directory to make it available for use. You have two options, either move it to the system-wide themes directory slash usr slash share slash themes so all users can access it, or to the user-specific themes directory slash home slash the user's name slash dot themes. To move it system-wide, type sudo mv dracula slash usr slash share slash themes. Enter your password when prompted. Let's apply the theme using the Cinnamon desktop environment. Open System Settings and click on Themes. Choose Advanced Settings. Next to the Desktop option, select the Dracula theme from the list. To change the application style, find the Applications option and select Dracula. Your new theme is now applied successfully. But wait, there's more. We need to update your icons and cursor styles to match. Head back to www.pling.com and search for Dracula icons. Under the Files tab, choose between Circle Icons or Main Icons based on your preference. Download the icons just as you did with the theme. In your Downloads directory, open a terminal and extract the icons by typing unzip spaced followed by the icon's file name and press Enter. Move the extracted icons to the appropriate directory either system-wide or user-specific. Type sudo mv dracula-icons-mainspace slash usr slash share slash icons and press enter. Enter your password to proceed. To apply the icons, go back to themes in the system settings. Next to icons, select Dracula icons main. You'll see your new icons applied instantly. Next up, let's update your mouse pointer. Again, go to www.pling.com and search for lion cursors. Download the cursor theme you like. In your downloads directory, open a terminal and extract the cursors by typing tar-xf space and the name of the cursors file. Move the cursor files to the icons directory. Type sudo mv lion white cursor space slash usr slash share slash icons and press enter. Finally, apply the new cursor style. Back in the theme settings under mouse pointer, Select Lion White Cursors. Notice how the pointer changes to the sleek new style. One last step, changing your desktop background to complete the new look. Download a background image from your favorite wallpaper site or Google Images. Save it in your pictures directory. Go to System Settings, then select Background. On the left side, select Pictures and choose your new wallpaper. And there you have it. 
your Linux Cinnamon desktop is now fully customized with a fresh new theme, icons, and cursors. It's amazing how these simple changes can breathe new life into your system. If you have any questions or want to see a specific tutorial, leave a comment down below. See you next time.